welcome to Stone Magpie for an unboxing today, or rather an unpacketing from Fancels. And there is a diamond painting in here, but there are also some accessories that I've not had before. So I'm really excited to show you what I've chosen. Let's get this packet open. I won't be able to turn it around because it's got my address on it, but there was a little bit of a worrying factor. And that, can you see, there's a bit of a split in the packet here. So I'm hoping that everything I ordered is still in the packet. Ooh, let's try and find out. I'll have to be very careful opening this one. In fact, I might be able to do it this way around. Split it like that. Okay, let's have a look at what's inside the packet. There are two diamond paintings in here and I'm only unboxing one this time because one is going to be in another unboxing surprise for another day. But I promise you, I will show you that one as well and it won't be long until I do the unboxing for that. Right, let's have a look at what else came in the pack today. All right, some different things today. Let's start with these tips. Look at these. I've got a four placer and a five placer. The four placer is always my favourite. So let's take a look at that one first. I purchased this one in the silver colour. Oh, it's really nice and thin. Oh, that's lovely. Let me get my resin pen and we will take that end out. See how this goes. <gasps> Ta-da! That's fabulous. 68 pence it cost me for this tip and it's exactly what I like. I like the fact that it is narrow. I like the fact that it's a four placer. And the reason I bought this one was because my plastic ones get very nibbled on the end here. And I'm hoping that it doesn't happen with these metal tips. So I'm pleased with that one. That's lovely. I think I'm going to use that a lot. The only thing is that won't be great for AB diamonds because being metal, they can be a bit too heavy for the AB. Look at this pretty colour. Oh, it's a five place of this one. And it's this beautiful rose gold copper colour. I don't know if it would necessarily go with this colour pen, but we'll try it in the end here. There we are. And if you can see, I'm pushing it in, but it's pushing itself out a bit on here. They do have these rubber rings around so I may have to take one of those off to see if it'll fit in a bit better. Might have to have a play with that, but it's not falling out. It's a bit like, um, oh, what do you call it with the cars and the wheels? Suspension, it's a bit like a suspension on it. <laughs> Again, 68 pence and you can get different heads so you can get bigger multi-placers, you can get a shiver or a straightener if you want to call it that. I call them shivers. You can get single placers and the claw. So I will definitely get more of those, I'm sure. I'm really pleased with it and I love that colour. I think you can get gold as well. Oh, what's next? What's next? Oh, I love it. OK, let's do this one next. Now this is my first cover minder. So open this little protective case. Oh look, right. So look at the colours. It's glittery rainbow heart shaped. What more could you want? Oh, it's really pretty. And on the back, of course, there are magnets. Um, yeah, they're quite strong, so the best way to do this is to slide the magnet off. Um, and this is to hold your protective layers back. When you're working on a canvas and you've got your protective layer and you're folding it back, 
it's to hold that in place. So you put this on the top and this behind and it will hold it for you. I'm not sure how easy it'll be to slide the magnet off the back when we're using it, but that's something that I'm going to be testing very soon. So I love that. I only bought one, £1.50. So we'll see if one is enough. Like I say, I've never used them before. And I love the fact that it comes with this own little protective case. It's a bit like a cover minder minder. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it nice and in good condition. pound fifty. I'm really pleased with that as well. Pencils are amazing, aren't they? Now, you may be wondering what on earth this is. Well, I've been quite keen to try this. Get it out of the packet and I'll show you what it is. It is a roll of frame. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. It's like a foam frame. You might be able to see that. It's quite squidgy and it's got like a sticky backing to it. And, you know, with our diamond paintings, we want sometimes to frame them, but quite cheaply. And maybe we don't want to frame them permanently either. So I thought this would be a good option to do that with. And as you can see, it has got a design on it. This is the white, but it's not bright white. If I show you, this is like a bright white compared. It is more of a cream, I would say, than a white. Let me get a finished canvas and we'll have a little look at that, what it would look like. So here, perfect. This one is a 30 by 40. I can't remember how much we get in here. Um, hmm, it could be maybe three meters, I'm not sure. I will have to check and flash it on the screen for you. I apologize. And I also can't remember how much it was either. So again, I will flash that onto the screen for you. Okay, so what we would do is, you have your finished diamond painting. If you remember, I did this one a while ago and I was going to buy a frame for it, but then I realized that really the frame I wanted or had in mind when I bought the picture was just going to be too expensive for it. So I ended up not framing this one. So what I would do, by the way, these come in different colours. So they do come in black, gold, grey. Um, I can't think of any of the other colours at the moment. I think on this one, I'd probably get black. So you would cut your picture down. Or would you? Maybe I would leave these on, actually. And then I would stick this to the wall using maybe blue tack or something temporary, because this is not a permanent fix. It's to show off your most recent diamond painting, perhaps. And then you would stick this over the top of it to create the frame. Now imagine this being black. I think that would be really effective. I think what I'm going to have to do is do a proper video on that and see the finished result because and I think I'd need to think about how those corners would work best. Anyway, I thought that was quite an interesting thing to take a look at if you're wanting a cheap alternative to wooden frame with an acrylic sheet over the top. So this one may well surface again and I can do a proper, more knowledgeable <laughs> video on that. Right. Let's put this aside and have a look at the diamond painting. Okie dokie. Here we have the diamond painting. No real clues there, apart from maybe this bit. Shiny diamond painting makes something more enjoyable. I would say life, but um, it begins with a Y. <laughs> 
but diamond painting definitely makes life much more enjoyable. So, okay, you're getting a bit of a clue. It's a 40 by 50. I'm trying not to show you the picture here because I really want it to be a surprise. And I saw this one and I just had to have it. I was just... I'll explain why. I'll explain why. Let's open it out and have a little look. Da, da, da. Oh, look, already you can see. Oh, look. What do you think about this picture? I'm just going to try and adjust my camera angle to get it all in. But when I saw this picture, it just spoke to me. I loved it. And there are so many little bits to this. And I'll show you at the end, I'll show you what really the bit that really drew me to this picture. But there are lots of different things that did. The shape is a grizzly bear. Isn't he beautiful? He's got his eyes and his nose. And behind him, you may just be able to see the trees here. So it's like the forest is within him. And in the middle of the forest is sat a, should we say maiden? <laughs> a naked lady holding an orb, like a crystal orb. And in the orb, there are branches of birds. And there's this glow on the forest floor around her that is lighting up these mushrooms, lighting up a little bit of the forest behind. And it just looks magical. Now, when I saw the picture and I thought, I really like that, that really speaks to me. See here, we've got the big bear star constellation, otherwise known as the plough, but it is the big bear here. And that has always been very special to me. I always look up at the night sky and if I see the big bear or the plough, I feel protected. And so when I saw that in this diamond painting, that I thought, that that's it, I've got to have that one. So here it is, and I really, really like it. It's got 24 colours. Let's have a closer look at the symbols here. So 24 colours, and the symbols are all capital letters. Oh, that's brilliant, because kitting up, that's going to be so easy, because we'll be able to just go one to 24 and then put the tic-tac boxes in the correct order of the alphabet, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, love that. I'm going to pull back the protective layer a little bit. Oh, oh, it's lovely, it's so lovely. I haven't even told you the price yet. Five pounds 99 for this kit. You know, sometimes kits really do speak to us, don't they? And this one definitely has spoken to me. And it just shows that sometimes you don't have to spend a lot of money on a canvas to get a really lovely painting. Here he is, our cheeky bear. Oh, I just think he's great. I'm not quite sure what these bits are in the background. I don't know whether they're just blobs or whether they depict anything. Um, I'm not quite sure, but it'll be interesting to see this. There is obviously a lot of the background colour, which is I. So I think that's white. Let's have a look at the diamonds and we'll have a look. This kit comes with the basic tool kit. Green tray, pink wax and 
simple pen, no multi-placer, and I think you definitely will want to use a multi-placer for this background. The diamonds are round, and it looks like they're all in their own self-sealed bags. That is lovely that they're all in their own little bags. I really like that. Okay, so what are we looking for? We're looking for number 24 for the background. Oh, wow. I should have known that. Look, <laughs> have we got two full stuffed bags of 24? Yes, we have. And they are not white, white. Again, I would call them more of a... Um, a winter white or a cream so that's going to be that background color there obviously we've got a little stuffed bag of three tens <laughs> and that's going to be the bear so this is all going to be three tens yeah and then we've got some Lovely pops of colour as well. Where's that? Oh, that must be these glow bits. These lovely blues are going to be, I imagine, in the middle here. Some pinks. And then we've got quite earthy tones as well. Look at that purple. That's a pretty colour. That's oh, so let me have a little look. Yeah, they're sort of dotted around on the edges as well. So all of these colours are sprinkled in. You can see the green here. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, that's a U. Where's the U? Ah, oh, it's here. So that is that colour. Pretty pinks. Just lovely. Isn't that kit wonderful? Let's have a closer look at the symbols on the canvas and see how clear they are. Just pull back the protective layer while we do this, I think. So the background is very obvious with the eye symbol. Let's have a look at these darker bits. Um, hmm. They're not the clearest I've ever had, but... They're not too bad. They are a white symbol on a dark background. If you look at the B's and the W's here, they, they are okay. If you look at the O's around those bright H colours. So the O's, the B's, the R's, the W's. I think it'll be okay. It's, it's not too bad. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I think if you're diamond painting in strong daylight, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it will be interesting to see how this constellation turns out. Because they are round at diamonds, I think that we will see this line detail through, this line here. And if you look closely, there are white dots for the stars in the backgrounds of that um, 310 and 823 colourway in the back. So I think it's going to be very, very pretty. £5.99. Let's give it a quick measure and see if it is a true 40 by 50. So the painting itself measures 35 across and 44 down. 35 by 44. And it's packed a lot of detail into that size. I'm really pleased with it. So thank you so much for joining me today and seeing all of the bits and bobs that I bought from Fansels. I really hope that you enjoyed watching the video and I hope to see you next time. 
In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everyone. Bye.